Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome back to some more Pirate 101. So I was just looking through our past episodes, and last one was episode 98, and this one is 99. So we are one episode away from episode 100, which, you know, it's kind of cool that we are almost to 100 episodes. I'm not really sure if we're going to do anything special for it, but the most like the the most special thing that i'll do is a one hour episode so i mean we've done that before though so it's nothing crazy let's just go ahead and get in our cat smuggler battle because we had to do this but yeah episode 100 pretty cool i started this series about 11 months ago i would say i started in february of last year if you look back at the first pirate video that i posted that was uh, in february oh yeah i had this spell i forgot so, come a long ways since then. If you ever want to see how bad I was in the beginning, go and watch those first few episodes of me in Skull Island as a, what, you know, level 5 pirate. Struggling to... I remember I had a really tough time against that gorilla guy. Gort not Gortez. Was it Gortez? No, it wasn't Gortez. It was someone else. I, I don't know. I can't remember his name, but yeah. There's that gorilla that I struggled on. So, there's that. Early days of Pirate 101 being a noob. But we've uh, come a long way since then. We're level 60 now. And I changed my title to Spellbinder because that's what you get as your title at level 60 for Witch Doctors. So I thought that was pretty cool to go and equip that. The other thing we're doing is just defeating these cat guys for uh, information or something. I don't know. Something like that. Last episode we did a kind of mini sewer dungeon type of thing. And then we came out of the sewer like right here. Now time to beat up some more cat things. So I have this new spell that I forgot to get. And I finally went to my trainer and got it. So I don't know. I want to try it. Let's reuse this. This would probably be a better spell to use. <laughs> Let's go with that. I'll use that soon. Yeah. Got that new spell. It's pretty cool. Uh, can El Toro... No. It's gonna be such overkill. It's gonna be such an overkill for Kanpo. I hate doing this. Okay, we're not gonna... Nah. Is he in stealth mode? Yeah. You know what? We're gonna... I know it's it's dumb, but... I don't want Kanpo to overkill. With his super ability. And his double damage. It's not enough value for Kanpo. Like, even though it would have killed that guy, I want to hit someone that has, like, a lot of health still. But I'll be excited to try out the chain lightning. See how good it is. It's got a certain percentage chance to arc and hit another enemy. I forgot what the percentage is. If it's only 50%, that doesn't seem like it's that high. Probably have Campo attack this guy, yeah. Okay, Chain Lightning, what is your thing? 75%, that's not bad. That's pretty good, I would say. Let's try that. Uh, hmm. Let's have El Toro attack this guy. Go for him. Bonnie Ann. And go for this guy. Chain Lightning! Okay, that was interesting. It goes really quickly. Just jumps to the next enemy. Nice. Pretty easy battle. So he's just block. Ugh. Probably could have ended it right there if he would have blocked. Unless my... No, nah, my pet can't do that much damage. There's no way. Alright. Let's collect this thing. 
and get out of here. Well, maybe. We're in like this underground sewer village, which is where cats live, I guess. Do stray cats live in sewers? I'm sure they they can. Alright, mate, alright. Oh, I can be reasonable. What you want to know? Lafitte, he's down in his lair, just around the way there. Alright? Alright? Alright, mate. Alright, mate. Let's go into his lair. Lafitte. I remember that name from somewhere else. Maybe we've seen him before. Jimmy Socks. Nice uh, overcoat. Is it an overcoat? I wouldn't call it a coat. Nice shirt. It's like it's 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 just a nice shirt, you know. It's a nice pink shirt. Okay. Uh, do I need this one? Probably not. Defeat all enemies. Let's keep her there. Should I delete something else? Yeah, that. But yeah, back on what I was talking about at the beginning of this episode with uh, approaching our 100th episode of Power 101. It'd be kind of crazy. I wonder how many people watch like every episode. I'm sure there's some people that have. That's a lot, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's some people that have been with us the entire time. So, if there is people that have watched every episode, thank you for uh, sticking with me through thick and thin all the way to the end of the game, which we're fast approaching. Depends how long Aqualay is. Yeah, let's go over and attack this guy. Kenpo. Yeah, this guy's a ton of health. I'm just gonna have both of them attack. Take him out, pros. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I know blue is up to like what? 100 and. I can't remember. 120, 130. On his uh, walkthrough. Probably more than that. I should go look. You know what? I'm gonna go look at how many episodes he's up to on his while we wait because there is a lot of waiting for battles in the same in wizard though so can't really say too much about that okay oops i accidentally started the thing 158 as el toro is just critting like crazy wow you're gonna make you're gonna make campo oh my gosh this is my this is my pet peeve. This is another pet peeve in Pirate. Is when Campo overkills people by this much. Like, look at all that wasted damage. But yeah, Blue's up to 158 on his uh, videos. His walkthrough. So pretty awesome. Thank you for blocking. These smugglers don't have that much health. That guy had the most by far, and El Toro just almost soloed him. Like, he should have just finished him off. I wonder if this... If it depends how far away the people are. I don't know. It doesn't seem worth it. Let's go ahead and use this. Oh, uh, should I attack this guy? I'll have Bonnie and shoot him. Yeah, there we go. El Toro's battle, apparently. See, they tag team really well. Kenpo just finishes them off every time. Usually overkills him by a lot. Uh, 
And Bonnie Ann's got like our backup sniper shots. She has some good abilities too. Okay, this is quickly going to be over. I like my badge, Spellbinder. <laughs> you guys spend too much time in the sewers. Did you know that? You should uh, breathe some uh, fresh air once in a while. That'd be my suggestion. Let's head this way. Do we get a map of the sewers? Kind of. I don't know. Ah, you must be the little pirate that's been playing hard with my ships. It's ill advised to trifle with my livelihood like that. I'm afraid you won't be leaving with what you came for. You're gonna be leaving the way most things leave the sewer. Down the drain. I'm about to flush you down the drain. <laughs> Dang, what an insult. Epic battle. Black Jean Lafitte. It's gonna flush us down the drain. Let's go with this. Should I move her up? Let's move her up there. Aren't we already down the drain? I don't know. I feel like we are. If we're already in the sewers, you know? Maybe there's even, like, farther down sewers. Sewers upon sewers. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised in this game. Someone at King's Eye really likes sewers. Okay, fan of knives. We're taking him out immediately. Because that did a lot. Okay, uh, we're going to buff. Oh, he's so far away. I'm gonna have to attack him and then. Dang it. I'm gonna attack this guy. Not even Bonnie Ann can reach him. Oh, let's shoot this guy. I don't think he's gonna do that much damage. If he does that Phantom Knives thing every turn, well, okay. We're gonna have to tank it a little bit. I just need him to move forward, like, a little bit, you know. Just a bit. Meow. Please shoot this guy. Oh. There you go. See, that's all I wanted. During the battle. That was a good amount of damage. No, why? Why did he go for my sniper? What did she do to you? Why do they always do that? That's kind of funny how they always go for Bonnie Ann. Even though she doesn't do that much damage. Like, as much damage, I should say. They still go for her. Hmm. Well, I don't have any AoE that I want. I have this, but uh, I'll have to deal with it. Okay, everyone go for... Oh, except you. You need to heal. Come on, let's get some blocks. Oh, not not him. I meant El Toro. 
gosh. Okay, well, he's still alive. Okay, I don't feel like they did too much damage. Level 55. Okay, I'm just gonna take him out. That should finish him off. Uh, Campo can't reach anyone? Really? That's, uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill them, I guess. Uh, what else should I do? Let's take this guy. Yeah, yeah. He did. What? Was the battle order to kill him? I didn't even Check notice. Those crates. The extracts got to be in one of them. Did I seriously miss that? Let's get this to the cannery quick. I don't even remember that. Did I even I don't remember. I thought it was defeat all enemies. I don't know. Whatever, we did it. Defeated Lafitte in the sewers. I can't use any of my teleports because there to Skull Island, which is where I was. Oh, you may notice I got new shoes. I got some level, what, 60 shoes that give some decent stats. I haven't been upgrading, like, too much stuff on my gear. Like, I still have a level 45 hat. That's good. And, because, I mean, I look in the auction house, and there's just not that much stuff that's better. I have a level 40 robe. That's still good. I don't know. I don't really know. Eventually we'll do Moo Manchu, which I'm sure has the best gear. But uh, I don't know. I'm not too crazy about you know having like the the best best stuff because you know companions really make up for a lot of a lot of damage and a lot of a lot of everything. Pirate or uh, companions are like the brunt force. The driving force of Pyro 101 is the companions, so. I mean, yeah, you can deck your, your pirate out and be good as well, but at least for me, at least for my Witch Doctor, what I do is just buff my companions to make them better. And then occasionally use some spells to do damage. But let's be honest, my companions are the ones doing the most damage. I'm basically like the backup. And the, uh, the support. Okay, back to the cannery. We finally got what yeast? Is that what we were going for that entire time? It's kind of a struggle to get all this. Remember the cannery's in here. Let's try to fill our potion. Yes. Ah, yes, I remember this place. You found all the ingredients. Magic. Give me just a moment and I'll whip up a batch of delicious. Well, I'll make a batch of Marley, right? Quick as a wing. 61. There you are. As good as, uh, well, uh, I'm sure your uh, soldier mates will, uh, you know, be able to choke it down. Just take this Marley, mate, to Johnny Kirk and it'll cure what ails them. Awesome. Let's see how good this staff is, quick. Is it better? No, it's not. <laughs> My Gorgon staff is too good. I still can't teleport over there. Because I'm not bound to that life fountain. So yeah, we are already level 61. Dang, I can't believe we're so close to max level already. And we still have another world. Man, I wonder like how far into Aqua we're going to hit max level. But it's the same in Wizard, you know. If you quest through the whole game at this point... You will hit level 100 well before Chrysalis Part 2, I'm sure. But, uh, 
So I'm going to head over to the lighthouse, back to this guy, and we'll cut back, because I know it's a little bit ways away, so I will be right back. Okay, here we are back on the Isle of Fetch, and uh, we never went to the lighthouse yet, so we're heading over this way. Is it a dungeon, though? No, that's good. Yeah, just uh, don't mind me, Kurgas. I'm gonna go talk to your leader. You have brought new food. I shall taste it. <laughs> oh, holy! <laughs> I can barely force it down my throat. Perfect. This is perfect. <laughs> the dogs of Marleybone have proven true to their words. We shall fight for them again. Now that we can do so with honor, Brigadier Stuart shall be freed at once. Indeed, he shall resume his post as our honored commander. Commander! The Mechanicals have come in force! The invasion has come! We must make haste to face our enemy. The Mechanicals occupy the north of the isle. If we cannot form a bulwark here, they will overrun us. We will barricade the south isle. You go to the Mechanical landing craft and destroy their signal beacon. That would delay any reinforcement. Go! Yeah, to be honest, we might as well ally with these guys. If they're against the Armada as well. So, that's awesome. I really want to visit their home world. Which, uh, I'm sure it's like an ice type of world. I don't know the exact name. Did they mention it? Not sure. But, uh, I think I remember seeing it. Isn't it like the, like it has, it looks kind of like Russian influenced, you know? Okay, where am I going? First off, <laughs> I need to stop talking and go the right way for once. But yeah, I feel like I've seen pictures of it. They've definitely shown a picture of what it could look like in Pirate. It was in one of the puppet shows. I think that's where they're from. Look at this place. It's horrific. We did this. We set it in motion back in Port Rico. We had no choice. This war also got us to a piece of the map. Yeah, at least we get a piece of the map. Everything else doesn't matter. Your deeds also brought Carolina back to me. And I thank you. But looking on this, I wonder, surely there must have been a better way. There's only one thing to do. Aye, run back to Skull Island and lay low till it all blows over. Yeah, let's make Avery do stuff. No, you get. We've got to make good to set this right. We need to break the Armada and save Marleybone. You are right, my sister in arms. We cannot go back and prevent this war. So we must win it. You know, we actually could if we talked to the professor and went back in time and changed some stuff. Why didn't he change that when he was in the box event, huh? To war, my friends. The heroes who fight their way across this battlefield will become legends. Great. We'll have the most impressive tombstones in the cemetery. I love Monkey King. What a boss. Feed on my troops. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna skip this. It's gonna be two battles of defeating these guys, so uh, I'll be back once we finish this up. before the clockwork signal for more troops yeah that last battle was four of the musketeers which probably the most annoying battle you can have is at least for me is going up against four musketeers the one before that was easy I think there was only one musketeer so it was just unlucky that uh, this island happened. has been integrated by the armada you will surrender Compliance is not optional. We've already got enough integrity, thank you very much. Get him! Get him! So it's just a regular... Who is this guy? No one's special, it's just a regular musketeer. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and show this one, because... We had two where I... You know what, I'm gonna use this... Mm. Doesn't matter which one I use, actually. Yeah, because we just had two where I 
wasn't showing the battle, so... We'll show this one for now. But yeah, basically the same thing that we did in the last two battles, just fighting four randomly selected Armada troops. This time I think there's, what, two Musketeers? Is it three? Oh, there's three. That's unfortunate. We're gonna have to go for them first. Didn't even realize. Really, and I just use the attack that lowers their critical. Dang. I'm just gonna completely ignore that Marine. Cause he'll just die from uh, trying to attack my uh, people. Well, maybe not Bonnie Ann. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What is that? What is that? Oh my gosh, if she dies, she's gonna die. That guy's gonna shoot her. Oh. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. Um, I'm just gonna have to have her heal her, uh, herself. Hope she doesn't die. Um, we need to go for these people. Okay. Bonnie Ann, basically you're on your own. Okay, Eltor, go for this guy. Basically you're on your own. Uh, hopefully you survive. Can't really help you. If you take that much damage on the first turn. Yeah. Can't really help you out there. The only chance she has is if my swashbucklers do enough damage to take aggro. Which is possible. I already took out one of them. It gives her more of a chance. But to be honest, I don't think she's going to survive. Not with that much health. And you have to block. She has to block this. Block. Nope. She's dead. See ya. You had your chance. You had to block that attack. But you failed, Bonnie Ann. You failed. Well, should I just use this? Yeah. Let's do it. Send in the team. This may kill him. Yeah, it did. Good. Yeah, like I said many times, do not mess with the musketeers in this game. Let's try chain lightning. Nope, too far away. Can I try this? Yeah. One left. Start spamming abilities. There's a crit. I feel like I haven't crit in a while. Oh, he's gonna survive another turn. Why? <laughs> oh my gosh. What else do I have? Chain lightning. Too far away. Uh, this thing. Yeah, that doesn't do that much damage. Yeah. 
Get ready. Here come some more machines. Good grief. Look at the size of those things. New clockworks? That figures. As if the old ones weren't hard enough to deal with. Okay, I need to quickly resummon Bonnie Ann. Yes. Ahoy. Really happy that... Oh, these things look like total beasts. But yeah, happy that it didn't immediately drag us into the battle. Because that could have been a problem. Oh, yeah, you guys are doing damage first turn. What a cheat. So you take 600 damage guaranteed first turn. More than that. What is this? Okay, that's OP. Slightly OP. And there's fire. Oh, my God. Uh, that is a useless talent. All right, we're sending in people right away because I cannot wait. Cannot wait around while I get burned. Wait, I have, to, mm, I have to, though. I have to use this. Okay, we're going to have to tank it. Can I do damage? Is this even worth it, though? Not really. I don't know. We're going to take some damage. Uh, Bunny and just heal. Heal Campo. Who's more important? Campo. Okay, I didn't know this was going to be this difficult. Hopefully we can survive. Like, what was that? If they do that every turn, then... That's insane. I wonder how much damage this fire is going to do. I hope not too much. That was a horrible heal. Atrocious heal. Dragoon. At least they're not using their little ability. Wait, this fire's not even doing damage. Did it only do damage when you walk through it? Okay, that's good. That is a good sign. Well, I can't even go in yet, so is there even a reason to move? Can Po can. But he's gonna take mm, it's not worth it. We're, we're holding back. I'm going to explode this barrel. We're holding back. We're going to hold back for a turn. No reason to send one person in to get destroyed. Plus, this fire's not doing damage, so... That's whatever. There you go. Take some damage. Good thing Can Po is invisible. All right, they're all lined up really nicely. Hmm, should I just use this? Yeah, let's just do some damage. Gonna have him go here. Campo's gonna go and attack this guy. What do they have? Do they have... Hold the line, blade storm. Okay. Campo's gonna go up here and attack. She's gonna use this. Okay. You know, I don't really care if, if he takes damage. Wait, what? Excuse me? That does that much damage? Oh, this is bad. This is extremely bad. That does so much damage! I can't believe that does that much damage. Dang it, Campo. You always do this. It's such an overkill. This guy was already, like, dead. Well, El Toro is gonna die. That one's already almost dead. Please block or dodge. You know, whichever works. 
El Toro needs to do as much damage as possible before he dies. Reposed. Or not reposed. Relentless. Yeah, attack, attack my character, you know? He does nothing. Yes, thank you. Target him. Okay, let's see what we have here. There's three left. I have no heals. El Toro's at 160 something. Or 136, I mean. We're going for this. And then we're gonna have... Oh, I could have Campo heal him. Is that worth it? Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. Alright, we're going for this. Let's hope this works. Okay, he's dead. Be healed. That's actually a really good heal by Campo there. Bonnie Ann, I can understand if she dies. Yeah, she's dead. Okay, staying alive. And they're still going for my character, so, you know, whatever. That's whatever. Good thing El Toro's alive, you know? That's a good sign. Go to Chain Lightning. And I think we're almost done. Like, honestly. I think this, this round could possibly take these guys out. The worst part- oh, she's dead. The worst part by far was when Can- or not Campo, uh, El Toro got stuck in the fire. That was horrible. Don't die at the last second, when this guy is so close to just being defeated. Okay, good. I don't care if Bonnie Ann dies, I expected her to die. I almost expected El Toro to die because he was so low in health. Let's take out that blinkered beacon before any more of these contraptions try and stop us. I calculate you must be the pirate who destroyed Beachhead. You have proven far too upsetting to the grand design. You will surrender and be taken prisoner to Cadiz. If you do not comply, you will be destroyed. These are your only options. What is your answer? I choose option three. Trouncing you. Yes, Captain. All right, we need to wake up her again. She's down like what, 400 health? Doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah, I have them on orders going for like nautical XP and stuff. So there's more dragoons. The beacon. It's on top of the mast. How do we smash it? Shoot it. I've got it. Turn the generator on, but only halfway. Then, if we smash the breaker boxes, it'll short itself out. Activate the beacon. Where's the beacon? Beacon generator. So I have to, I have to reach this thing? Activate the beacon. Okay, uh... It also says to defeat all enemies, so I'm gonna assume that we do that first. Well, we don't really have to do it first, but yeah. How am I getting it over there? Interactable. Is this interactable? No. Okay. So, one of the people needs to go over to this beacon thing. Yeah, four dragoons, that was kind of difficult. I didn't know this dungeon was like such a beast. Awesome. I love that spell. <laughs> Okay, I drew my second, whatever you call it, thing. 
Uh, I need to send El Toro through the fire so he doesn't hit it. Let's go here. And you know what? Let's just have everyone attack this guy. Probably kill him. I'll have El Toro be the one to go over here next turn. Because apparently this fire doesn't damage you unless you step into it. So, if we maneuver our way, it shouldn't do damage. This guy has a lot of health. He had like 4k. You know, what's 4k health to Kanpo? Just finish him off, please burst. Dang. Dang. Maybe she'll double tap and kill him. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, these battle angels are bad. It's this guy I'm worried about over here. Okay, uh, let's do some chain lightning. I can't even, like, interact with it. I don't know. Let's defeat all enemies first. No, don't do that. Boom. <laughs> um <laughs> What? Okay. That is OP. Oh my gosh. We got the 75% chance like 10 times in a row. That was amazing. That was insane. Oh, she's dead. Please, just burst fire. Nah, he still got a lot of health. That was amazing, though. I didn't even know it could do that. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. Don't block, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Kill him. Yes. That was the best chain lightning I think I'll ever see. I don't know if we're going to get a better one than that. Okay, what do we have to do now? I don't understand. Activate beacon. Uh, I don't know, move that way. Okay, those finally went away. This takes forever. Okay, now he can activate it. Can he activate? No, is that it? Okay. Smash all of these. Uh, let's go here. Here and shoot that. Wow, you almost did uh, enough damage. Didn't realize these things have this much health. Campo's definitely gonna kill his. Can she double tap onto the breaker? Apparently not. Uh, okay, can I use this? <laughs> yeah, I can. Using a spell on this thing. Because I'm just that good. 
watch. It's gonna summon like a wave two of enemies, and I'm gonna be like, dang, I wish I had that spell still. Okay, is that it? Good. Battle clap blinders on them, Captain. Let's get back to the tigers and tell them they've got some breathing room. Awesome. Armada landing craft, is that what it was called? So, there's that. Uh, that was a really interesting dungeon. I didn't even expect that to be a dungeon. Or that, that big of a dungeon. So, there is that. We got Knight, something of the fetch, which I'll probably equip for next episode. But, yeah, I... What is this thing called? Let me see. Armada Landing Craft. So that was the Armada Landing Craft dungeon. The Dragoons were pretty good. And uh, the final battle was not hard, but yeah. <laughs> the Dragoons were the hardest thing to do on that. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Kind of a longer episode because we had that dungeon, which I didn't even expect. But uh, there it is. So that's going to be it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, as usual. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Be subscribed. Next episode is episode 100, so we'll see if I decide to do a one-hour special or something. It feels like we're getting close to the end of Marleybone, but, you know, we'll have to see. But, uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.